Good day everybody and uh, once again we are looking at uh, just uh, that final question. Uh, I won't go through question 10 since that won't be examinable. Uh, that's on uh, the fertilizer industry. Uh, so we're looking at this question on uh, the electrolytic cell. Okay, and I think that's where a lot of guys uh, have been asking me quite a number of questions. Uh, but I did go through this one and uh, please check it out on our videos. And uh, yeah, for those of you who haven't subscribed as yet, uh, please just hit that uh, uh, subscribe button. And uh, you know, obviously you can get in touch with us if you've got any challenges in mathematics or physical science. Our email address is info at timlungisinkosi.co.za. All right, now let's have a look at uh, question nine. They say the diagrams below show two electrochemical cells in which carbon electrodes are used. Right in cell A, we've got copper concentrated copper chloride solution, and in uh, uh, cell B, liquid aluminium oxide is used. Right now, uh, just to take you through, uh, I just wanted to just quickly. Uh, of course, I'm not going to answer. I'm going to answer the questions eventually, but just to show you quickly. Uh, so on copper chloride, what you actually have is that uh, remember it breaks down to become copper two plus and 2Cl minus, okay? And so those are the ones that are going to take part in that uh, reaction there. Uh, so obviously copper 2 plus would uh, actually uh, tend to go to the, uh, to the negative part of the cell. Remember it's positive ions, so they'd be attracted by those uh, negative charges, the electrons there. Um, and in this case, of course, uh, chloride ions. Okay, so essentially what's going to happen to copper is that it's going to now become copper 2 plus is going to receive electrons when it goes to the negative part of the cell and become copper. All right, uh, and so it undergoes reduction in this case. And then the chloride ions, uh, uh, and please remember this is given in your standard reduction potential table. So your chloride ions would actually become chlorine. So what you would see in the positive side is that the, of course it would attract the uh, negative ions in this case. So they would now become chlor uh, chlorine gas. Okay, so remember this is a gas and this happens when it loses electrons. Okay, uh, on the aluminium, uh, on, the other uh, on the other hand, you've got Al2O3. Okay, and when it ionizes, uh, it becomes Al3+. Please go and check your reduction potentials table. Okay, and this uh, uh, you've got now O2-. minus. Okay, so you've got two things here. Uh, Al3 plus ions and O2-, minus, which are your uh, oxygen uh, ions in this case. And what happens is that, of course, aluminium would be, uh, it's positively charged, it would tend to go towards the negative side of the cell. So Al3 plus would receive electrons in this case and simply become aluminium. So on the positive side of the cell, what you would notice is that, uh, uh, rather on the negative side, rather what you'd notice is that there'd be a buildup of aluminium. So that uh, that cell would actually, uh, sorry, that uh, that uh, you know electrode would tend to go uh, bigger, grow bigger in size, um, you know because of the aluminium that is forming around it. And then on the other one, you've got O2 minus, which now becomes oxygen, okay, by giving away electrons. And in this case, um, uh, yeah, so this forms oxygen gas, all right, by giving away electrons. And in that case, it would mean that uh, on the on the positive side, okay, you'd actually form a gas there, which is oxygen. All right. Now, uh, let's quickly answer the question. They say, what type of electrochemical cell, electrolytic or galvanic, is shown above? Okay. Uh, and they say, give a reason uh, for your answer. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, so, give a reason for your answer. So, in this case, we know it's the electrolytic cell, all right? And what's the reason for that? We are converting electrical energy into chemical energy, right? So that's the reaction that's taking place. And then in 9.2, uh, they say write down the reaction that takes place at the anode of cell A. So this is cell A. Remember, uh, the anode, that is where oxidation 
takes place right and remember oxidation on the uh, electrolytic cell takes place on the positive side of the cell now if you remember we said on the positive side this is where we are attracting the chloride ions isn't it okay so this would be the reaction that is taking place at the anode so 2cl minus would simply become cl2 uh, by giving away uh, in this case and remember that anode is where oxidation takes place and this is the oxidation reaction okay right and 9.2.2 they say the half reaction that takes place at the cathode, okay, so that would mean that's the negative part of cell B, okay. Uh, so remember at the cathode, that is where reduction takes place, okay. So for cell B, um, you know, uh, um, uh, reduction in this case would mean that, uh, so Al3 plus would now uh, receive electrons, okay, gain of electrons and simply become aluminium uh, the metal okay and please note with single arrows okay please uh, no additional arrows uh, should be written there right and then they say name uh, name or product of the formula uh, the rather name of formula rather of the product formed at the cathode of cell a um, right so on cell a uh, remember we said uh, on the anode we were forming chlorine right and on the cathode in this case we are forming copper so you can either write uh, Cu there okay uh, Cu or you can just write it out in full uh, that's copper that is formed there and uh, um, yeah, they did say cell A they say give a reason why the mass of electrode Y decreases uh, after a while now i want you to please note at electrode y what's actually happening on the positive side this is where we said we are forming oxygen isn't it okay so what actually happens remember it's a carbon rod they did say it's a carbon uh, it's carbon electrode so what actually happens is that carbon now begins to react with uh, oxygen and obviously uh, carbon dioxide you know this is uh, one of the reasons why uh, they say uh, um, you know extraction of aluminium is hazardous uh, to the environment uh, of course through the cell uh, because of course it forms that greenhouse gas which is carbon dioxide okay yeah so essentially uh, it decreases in mass because it reacts with oxygen to form um, carbon dioxide okay so uh, essentially that's our eight marks you know uh, the electrolytic cell is just uh, crash boom bang there it is uh, you've got uh, the answers to the questions i hope that's been helpful and i'll see you guys again next time and hey good luck for your uh, final exam as you are going to be writing chemistry all right and uh, please just do well and represent us well i hope that it's really really been a, a productive uh, you know um, uh, time that we've had uh, you know sharing together lessons on uh, chemistry thank you so much for you know all those wonderful comments that you guys keep throwing uh, i really appreciate them a lot and i hope that uh, it will help you towards your journey and whatever it is that you want to pursue in the future all right and i'll see you guys and again another time hopefully we meet somewhere you know in this world okay i'll see you guys again sharp sharp